Hey, it's Eric here with Cat Avenue, and today I'm going to be taking you through a command that's not used very often, the align command. And this is a, a not real widely used command. A lot of people don't know about it, so I thought I would kind of explain both the 2D and the 3D side of how to use this. It, it really makes your life a whole lot simpler because you don't have to worry about you know, rotating in 3D or aligning a, a 2D object against another object. It's something that can be a real time saver if you know how to use it. So today, a uh, real short video just to show you how to go about implementing this in your daily CAD life. <laughs> so what we have here is on this side is a 2D example, on this side is a 3D example. You really can't see that. Um, I'm going to go into 3D real quick. You'll see that this is a wedge and this is a box. And these are just rectangles. So um, let's work on the 2D side first. In order to get the align command going, all we have to do is type AL in the command line. And then press Enter. We select the entity that we want to align. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tie it sort of like, imagine like a, a parachute and you got all these strings that are attached to, to the paratrooper. Uh, so each string has to go to its own place. Otherwise, the paratrooper is going to get twisted and tangled. So kind of think of the align command that way. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. So we're wanting to take this rectangle and align it right on this side, the left side of this rectangle here. And we want the long side to point upward. So what we're going to do is we're going to define the first source point here and then this, the second destination point here. So again, it's kind of like a string that's being attached to uh, the, the object itself. And then if we want this corner here to align with this corner, basically we're just telling it, place this object down at the bottom of this left-hand corner to begin with, and then rotate it and move it at the same time. So what it's asking us now is for our third source point, which is an optional uh, step. So we're just gonna press enter. And then it's gonna ask us if we wanna scale those objects. So what it's saying there is, do we want this rectangle to be the same length as this left side? In this case, we don't. So now it just puts that rectangle down there. And again, it moves it and rotates it at the same time, which probably would have taken, you know, three times as long to do without that command. It even comes in more handy in the 3D side of things. So let's go into the 3D view again. And now we have this wedge. What we'd want to do is swing this wedge around and make this, let's say, into like a little roof coming down here on the left side of that cube. So again, we just type in the AL command. We select the entities, which is this wedge. And again, we need to uh, tie this thing into the parachute. <laughs> so um, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want this point to actually be this point here. And we're going to want this point to be tied to this point. What that's going to do is going to flip that thing around and then align it to the top of this wall here. I'm going to press enter and we don't need to uh, scale the objects. We can say no to that. And then what it does is it's aligned that and flipped it around all in one step. Let's go ahead and undo that, just control Z. Let me show you how you would scale this to the same width as that wall. So we type in AL again. You select the object. Uh, we want this to go here and this to go here. And then we press enter. Now let's scale it this time uh, based on the alignment. So we're gonna select yes for this one. So what it's done is it's scaled the wedge to the same width as the left side of that box there. And if we shade that in, we can see the ending result. So I just wanted to show you that. So let's take it one step further um, with a tank example. Now in this example, we've got a pipe that we drew with our piping product, MetQ. 
and the same thing goes with this tank here. We're going to go ahead and go into the southwest isometric view. And now what we want to do is we want to rotate this whole assembly to the top of this flange here uh, so that this pipe rotates up and then positions itself right on top of this, uh, pointing this way. So uh, again, we, we simply type in the AL command and we select the entities. And we're going to select the center here of this flange here. It's really the node. And then we're going to select the endpoint here of this flange. And that first two points, again, is defining the placement or the move distance, I guess you could say. Now for our second source point, at this point we need to zoom down. So I'm just going to use a transparent zoom command, which is apostrophe Z. And then I'm going to just zoom right down onto this flange here. And I'm going to pick the, it, you can see that it's wanting to snap to the quadrants here, is what I want. So that's the first quadrant. Now let's go back and define the quadrant on this side. So we're going to want that quadrant to, to land here. So what that's going to do is it's going to flip it over and align it to that point. And, and let's just give it a last point just to secure it in there. Zoom command here to find the quadrant. There's the quadrant there. And the quadrant up here on this flange. So what it's done is it's just flipped that over for us and rotated it and moved it all at the same time. So I hope this video has helped. Feel free to, of course, email me anytime. I'm here to help you. Uh, number here is 888-271-7121. I can be reached at info at cadavenue.com. If you're wondering what program I'm using, I'm using a program just like AutoCAD, which is called AbbeyCAD. And AbbeyCAD is... Uh, probably about a quarter of the cost of AutoCAD and you're not obligated to uh, subscribe. You can buy the product and own it unlike AutoCAD and uh, feel free to reach out if you're interested in, in, in uh, something like that. So if you're uh, looking for a change but you don't want to have to relearn CAD, uh, AbbeyCAD is a great uh, alternative because it's got everything that AutoCAD has and more. So and the commands are all the same. So hopefully this video has been helpful and feel free to call me or email me. The number here is 888-271-7121 and uh, feel free to um, like this video and subscribe to get more CAD videos uh, for both AutoCAD and uh, AviCAD. Hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.